works in absolutely every media from painting to sculpture to drawings, uh, fine photos, digital works. Art Toronto returns for its 22nd edition in downtown Toronto, welcoming work from over 80 galleries from around the world to the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. And then you can bring in this element of like the performativity. It's kind of like a rattlesnake tail and you can see. Maria Hupfield is a transdisciplinary artist. Right now, she's showcasing work that she's either worn in performance or that suggests performance or interaction with a person. Art is historically in the museum, behind glass. Um, indigenous art has always been seen more as an artifact in an art museum versus in a gallery. So. I'm responding to a lot of that and the fact that I want to show that culture is alive, it's living, we're a part of it, uh, we can relate to it, we can interact with it. We, I gotta say, had contingencies for everything, for capacities, for flows, for um, any possible um, eventuality. Meanwhile, the director of Art Toronto says after both going online and in gallery last year, a little rejigging was needed to make the big comeback. We took a, a long, hard look at the floor plan and really thought about how we could redesign the space to make sure that everyone felt really comfortable and secure in this space. Something Ali McQuaid was tasked with figuring out. She and her team designed how spaces like the entrance, lounges and food areas would flow. To design these spaces during a regular show like this, I'm sure would already be very challenging. Uh, I would imagine even more so now. What, what did you kind of have to think about? It was a bit of a challenge because, um, you know, we had to take space into account, um, but we worked it to our advantage and really just went for more of a sculpture garden type of approach. It's really about um, playing with different elements of scale. And so by having the drop cloths as sort of our dividers within the space, you don't really notice too much that you're completely spread out and yet you have a bit more of an intimate zone for just yourself or somebody that you're um, might be sitting with. When does the planning start for the next year's? Oh, it's, uh, I would say it's, it's already happening. Tickets are now selling for our Toronto, which runs now through the end of the weekend. In downtown Toronto, David Zura, City News.